Are face-offs coming to an end? Maybe, but I doubt it. Let's get into it. As a face-off guy, it seems like every two years they try to alter and change the face-off rules. But this time, sights are set on banning the clamp. The internet went absolutely insane this past weekend due to an inside lacrosse article where banning clamping and shortening the shot clock were brought up by NCAA coaches at a coaches convention. What this looks like, no one really knows. Here's what the article says. Another rule introduced into the topics of discussion is the possibility of eliminating clamps during face-offs. Instead of a clamp leading to control of possession, coaches propose that players would instead swipe at the ball to create a ground ball situation. So basically, this was just a discussion of NCAA coaches in a room. In order for this to come to fruition, a few things need to happen. First, the coaches asking this need to define what a clamp is, because you can't ban something that isn't accurately defined. Second, this group can then propose to ban clamping in six months, but they'll have to defend why this makes our game better and why it's safer for our players. We're still not done yet. Finally, if that is approved by all the coaches, it then goes to the NCAA. There, it needs to be approved by the NCAA Rules Committee, which is very unlikely. Clearly, there's a lot of steps that have to happen in order for this to be approved and passed. But let's talk about if banning the clamp makes the game better and if it makes the game safer. Does banning the clamp make the game better? No. Right now, there are so many different moves a guy can use against a dominant clamper, right, to even out that playing field. But if you take the clamp away, guys are still gonna be able to specialize and the most dominant guy is gonna win. And then we'll be having this exact same discussion in two years. Also, depending on how this is defined, it can have very negative impacts on open field play, right? Goalies won't be able to clamp the ball, pull it back in their crease, Long poles won't be able to rake it back, goose it to open space, pick it up. So there's a lot of negative impacts that this can have for the game as a whole. Next point, does this make the game safer? No, if you're putting guys in a loose ball situation, it's definitely a lot more dangerous. What I find funny about this situation, you know, is no one's asked face off guys in the industry for their input. In my personal opinion, what I think is really going on here is it's, it's coaches that haven't had success at the face-off position, and they don't want to put in the adequate amount of resources in order to train this position properly. Even though there's a lot of free resources you know, on the internet, this channel included, to help guys succeed at this position. Now, I don't disagree with everything that was stated in that article. Right? The second proposition that was brought up was shortening the shot clock from 80 seconds to 60 seconds. This is great. Great for the game as a whole, it speeds up play, and it's great for the face opposition because it forces guys to be lacrosse players and handle that ball efficiently with the small amount of time. As we saw from the PLL, it worked great. Overall guys, there's no cause for concern right now. There's a lot of steps that have to occur in order for this to even become a possibility. So keep training like you're training and let me know in the comments if you're pro clamping, anti-clamping. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.